Hey guys, welcome to my totally unique playthrough of uh, Minecraft. Uh, you can call me Jericho. Uh, my objective here is that I've put together um, a mod list. It's going to be slightly modded Minecraft. It's not nothing too game breaking. The the overall objectives are still the same. Um, and I just I wanted to give this game a little bit of exposure because I feel like not many people play it on YouTube and. Uh, I thought, you know, I could definitely bring something to this environment. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and we'll just, we're going to play some survival. I'm going to make sure cheats are off, give myself a bonus chest, because I want to love myself today. We'll just call this world Let's Play. And we'll create a new world. I actually made this mod pack... Oh, a few months ago now. Um, it was just one of the things I started messing around with when I, uh, you know, first went under quarantine just for something to do. Um, so I don't actually recall all of the mods necessarily that are in this. I know we have shaders, but that's just because this game looks beautiful with shaders um, compared to without. Uh, I know there's Tinker Tools. Um, there's some Buildcraft. Uh, immersive engineering, um, Ender IO, just a lot of like mechanical engineering type stuff. I mean, if you look at my Nomer on YouTube, you can kind of guess what I'm into. Uh, machiny bits and whatnot. So, and it also takes a lot of the monotonous uh, aspect of this game out, like, you know, which is redundant, but a lot of the mining for resources. Like, and mining for the initial resources is fun because then you get enough to build yourself a quarry and then you don't have to do it anymore. Uh, this is on one, uh, twelve, I believe, was the version that we're on, one twelve two, yeah, um, because that was the last version that I could get working with all of these mods that I wanted to throw in here, specifically Buildcraft. They haven't really, at last I saw, at least they haven't made a, uh, a very new version of Buildcraft anytime recently. I had to adjust my audio there just a little bit. So let's see. Oh, also some inventory base like uh stuff, just additional uh, actual additions or whatever it's called, just so I can sort my inventory and quick move stuff like that, just be for the sake of my own sanity. I'm not quite sure why it does that uh, white texture with the breaking of blocks, but should be fine. Oh, and the last thing I did was uh, I added a vein mine. Um, Again, just for the sake of simplicity, you've seen people punching down trees. Uh, one of my things, one of the things I want to accomplish with this is actually get to the end of the game and like beat the uh, the Ender Dragon legitimately. I've never actually done that in all the time that I've played Minecraft. I've been playing since like uh, one point five point two, like when they first introduced like redstone blocks. Like that was the first time when I first picked up the game for PC. Um, so, and I, I've played plenty of different mod packs. I've played Technic. I've played uh, some of the more adventure ones. I've played Sky Factory more times than I can count, just because I'm a I'm a big fan of automation. Oops. I guess my fist can't vein mine. Okay, noted. So I just want to get enough blocks here to build a basic structure and then we're going to be looking for sheep because I do not want to try to survive nighttime without a bed and I see a sheep over there so unfortunately my friend I think this is your last day on this earth because I do not have any shears come here my friend goodbye there's one take you guys for food nope Nope, don't run. It only makes it harder. There we go. I need more sheep. Boop. Dun, 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 dun. Unfortunate thing about 1.12 is that it's right when they implemented the, um, the slowdown on your swing with weapons and stuff, so you can't just spam the hit. But it's before they added the second hand where you could, like, hit F and move stuff over to your offhand. Um, I'm a big fan of that mechanic just because when you're playing with shaders, you can carry a torch around and it makes traveling around in the dark a lot easier. Unfortunately, we don't have such luxuries until, I think, 1.13 point something. 
You know, there's a lot of you chicken guys and not a lot of sheep. Where are you hiding the sheep? Luckily, I got really lucky with the spawn here. Um, I'm a big fan of fields as far as starting locations just because you first stumble across things like this. So we now have a uh, easy way to access underground resources. We have a good amount of trees and flat land to build on. And I think I saw some copper down there too, which is good because I'm going to need a lot of copper starting out. And I know that we've passed a couple water sources that had clay. Clay being the primary thing you need for the Tinker Constructs. Whoop! The uh, Tinker Constructs Furnace. You know, I thought about doing a uh, hardcore playthrough of this game, and then I just remembered when I just fell off that cliff why, and that's because I'm a klutz, and we'd probably get through maybe one episode uh, before I fell off of something, or got exploded to bits by one of our exploded green friends. Anybody seen a sheep? I hear chickens, I do not hear sheep. see here do I actually spawn with a shovel I forget no I did not I guess I can go craft one real quick uh did I add the I did okay so uh what is that, a sign and a crafting table I believe I might actually have to use the crafting table to make it. The sign, at least. Make a stick. Make a sign. <laughs> and there we go. A crafting table on a stick, and that gave us the actual additions uh, manual, too, which will be useful. So put that there. Beat you with a crafting table. At least we don't have to worry about food. Every now and again I'll get a, a spawn that just has no animals to eat anywhere around. Oh, we already have unfriendlies. Make sure my difficulty is set correctly. Okay, yeah. I see an oil spout over there, so that's good. Uh, well, I know I'm going to need this clay, so let me get some stone, and I'll build a shovel. Keep mishitting that. I should really probably remap that. Boop. There we go. Again, gotta love the vein mine. It's typically more, like, appropriate for, like, a sky factory or something like that, but it just saves everyone time. No one needs to see me whack at a wall for ten minutes just because I need to gather some cobblestone. Make that... There we go. Uh, did I put the version in that has the all-in-one tools? Oh, I need to hoe first to see. I'm a big fan of that mod too, but I don't recall if I got that working or not. It depends on the version of actual editions that I have. Aha, I did. Cool. That makes my life easier. I'll just uh, get rid of that. <clears throat> Where are these? Oh, blueberries. Cool. Uh, I think one of the mods I did put in here was... And I forget the name of it. It's like some lady's name. Uh, it's a food mod, basically. It lets you grow all kinds of crops and stuff. I think I left that one in. We're definitely getting wild berries and stuff, which is cool, because I like having some diversity in the food rather than just eating 101 pigs. Come here, pig your food now 
Oh, three pork chops for one pig. Nice. Still no sheep, though. I might have to stay awake all through the night. Oh, cool. We got coffee. I don't usually partake myself, but it looks like we're going to be in for a long night. I believe this is rice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I wanted to dig up some clay. Let me make just a specific shovel for that so I don't waste my multi-tool. Gotta let me some sort functions. Oh, I got... I fell on the oil. I am now slick. Hold on. Let me rebind that real quick. Sorry about that. I wanted to rebind my input so I could do that a little easier without... Oops. Let's not drown. Without keep hitting the uh, escape button to go to the menu. Also, I found that uh, apparently I am just stupid and unobservant because I do have an offhand. I uh, I guess I assumed that this it was not in this version when in fact it was just F was also bound to something else. So at least I checked the menu. Okay, this is quiet. I don't recall how many uh, pieces of clay I need specifically. I know it takes five clay, four sand to make one block of grout. And you cook that into... Um, I think one seared brick or maybe like four seared bricks and you obviously need a few dozen to make a working furnace because you need uh, at least the very least nine plus 12 so 21 and I just realized it is getting dark and I do not have a stru uh, structure to hide in so let's fix that real quick Since I did not manage to find any sheep, we're going to have to tough it for tonight. was going to put a door there, but suddenly there's zombies, so. Okay. Whoops. There we go. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Not a fan of the change they made to make doors three. Like, I get it makes more sense resource-wise, but I never know what to do with a third door. One charcoal, I guess. So I can cook some food. There we go. Actually take this roof down, make it one higher just because I can. So we'll find as we play through this that the ratio of aesthetically pleasing to functional that I tend to partake in while building is not always super sensible. Uh, you, mostly just because I'm lazy and I won't spend 
hours upon hours making things look pretty if they're functional, but I like things to flow nicely. So while I'm not a practitioner of feng shui, I do like it when, you know, my tools are all laid out properly. Everything has a designated location, like stuff like that. But I see that as more of an efficiency thing than anything. And lighting. Lighting is the thing that I'll spend the most time, like, making right just because of, well, monsters, of course. And then also just being able to see. Um, I don't actually have enough wood to put a roof up here. Let me take care of you. There we go. And... Put that there. Actually... Little trick. I don't know. Most people probably know it at this point, but if you put a door like that, it fills the space, but you still have the little entry where you can put the pressure plate. Put the pressure plate. There we go. Voila. All right, let's cook some food. What do we have the most of? Chicken. We'll cook four chicken and we'll try to catch the four pork chop before the coal runs out. Um, I do have one chest, so we'll put... I'll have to go dig up some sand too. I didn't even think about it. Oh, weird bug in this. I don't know why. Signs emit light. I thought it was funny, uh, so I didn't bother to really look into how to fix it. But yep, signs emit light. Jericho's house, Mach 1. Although, they only, I should specify, they only emit light in your hand, I believe. I think that's because how they programmed it was to give it its own light source that when you post it on the wall, it's still, it's more visible. Because you can see here, it's kind of brighter than the wall is. Um, but because of the changes I had to do to the lighting system to make it light, the torches work in my hand, it, uh, whatever code there also applies to the signs when you're holding them, so... Suppose I could abuse that and uh, use it like a torch, but I won't do that. Um, I am currently kind of surrounded by baddies. Uh, actually, let's try to eat fish. Did I remember catch? Oh no, I didn't catch fish. It was actually my starting thing. Let's look at the actual additions thing real quick. Okay, this is all later stuff once we get into power generation, things like that. Yeah, lots of... Although I might make use of some of the uh, farm blocks and stuff like that. As I said, I'm, I'm one for automating things. Well, let's see here. Do I have... I do. I'll make an actual table here. So I don't... And then... I'm just gonna go out and kill some stuff. I don't wanna waste my good tool. Okay, we have a creeper. I think a lot of this stuff is actually below me. Zombie villager. 
regular zombie, skeleton. I mean, I get why they put the delay on the melee attacks, and it makes you not just spam and keep them at a distance from ever being able to hit you. You have to actually kind of fart, fart, fight smart. <laughs> But, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to when you spend years playing it with just the swing as fast as you can methodology. Get out of here, Vern. Uh, the creeper saw me too, but I think he de-aggroed because the sun came up. Nope, nope, he did not. He did not, in fact, do that. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Go away. Alright. Just in time to see the sunset, too. Alright. We have mobs burning. That's good. I would like to go find more sheep. Uh, does this have... It does. Okay. Cool. So I can actually use this rotten flesh for something. Uh, let me grab my good tool. Cut some more trees down. And also, just because I'm a stickler, like... Another 30% of the reason I got the vein mine was just for the fact that when you cut down a tree, it falls. Because in my head, that's how it should work. Oh, there's a mushroom forest over there. Neat. More oil, too. First, let's start making some coal, or charcoal, I should say. And then, sheep, that's right, we're looking for sheep. Let me, do this, whoops. I'm actually gonna take one of these. go. Hopefully that'll help me find this in the future when I go out searching. And also, we look around for some sheep. Well, guys, I don't see any sheep. Does look real pretty, though. Oh, hell yeah! Village! Even better! Make it? Yeah! Who needs sheep when I can just go rob the locals? Here, another creeper. Or no, it's a spider. There you are. Get out of here. Oh, I made a beacon, and I just realized I have journey map on. I could literally make a waypoint, but whatever. This is a really good spawn. I mean, shit, I might as well just come post up in this village, yeah? Free housing? Or imperialistic housing, I suppose, because I'm just coming to take their land and their property as a conquering force. It's fine. Look, I'm not a monster. I I always replant the crops after I take them. Someone might just have to die to give up their house. It's fine. I don't think I uh, installed the advanced village mod, though, that gives you, like, really fancy villages. 
you get like fancy village houses and all kinds of cool shit. Oh, I'm full. Uh, I don't need that. Um, don't need that. Well, Jericho's house Mark One, you served your purpose, and I will leave you in Monument to Night One. Hopefully they have uh, a few of the, I guess what they use them for is like lanterns. They have the wool on top of the fence posts with the torches. Um, I can at least utilize those to make uh, a bed for tonight. If they don't have one already. Yeah, hmm is right. That's a new structure. Oh, maybe there is something added to villages in this mod pack. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Huh. Hmm. This guy sounds like me when I first get up in the morning. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow, that looks sick. I'm sure you're like an engineer, right? Crystallizer. Cool. This should hopefully be fun because I'm finding out about this shit just as much as you guys are. Oh, is this a coffee machine? Oh, praise the Lord. Okay, cool. Oh, man. This is like cheating almost. Not to the point where I'm not going to do it, but, you know. Oh, that's crazy. Well, I'm definitely going to... Oh, no, I can't, because I my inventory's full. Damn it. Well, here, let me put this back, and I'll... Return your stuff for now. Let me go pick out a house that I'm going to accommodate, um, and then we'll circle back to the pillaging or investigating, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has a neat little costume. Oh, you know what this is? This is immersive engineering. I bet yeah, that's where you're from because you sell copper wire. There's a lot of you guys. Oh, a sheep. Sorry, I'm going to kill your pet. Need a bed. I don't know. So far, I'm thinking that guy's house is the best place. Oh, more sheep. There's enough left to breed as well, which is cool. Um, this place is actually pretty nice. Stop it with the door. Ooh, yeah, I like it in here. There's carpet and everything, a little loft area. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to replace that. And you guys are going to stop coming in my house. What do you sell? Anything important? No. Sorry, bud. Dems the brakes. Oh my god. All kinds of jellies. One day they're going to add a update to Minecraft that as soon as you start punching villagers, they just whip out swords and beat your ass, and that will be a good day. So, simple way that I usually do this is, and it works even better because we have a little loft, is I just put the entrance and exit to this to the house as like a, a ladder. Keeps you from accidentally letting mobs in. And it keeps them from busting into my house when there are mobs and drawing them in. Pull out my table. Although we might have to go on a killing spree just to get them to stop making that noise. Yes, talking about you. Um, we need wooden sticks. Oh, 
because of the carpet. There we go. And I can actually put a door up there. Uh, if I'm so inclined. Although, if I do that, I'll actually do it like this. Again, like I said, normally, couldn't give two dams about how things look, but every now and again, you know, it's nice to make things look pretty. Oops. This isn't a loft, it's a support beam. Okay. Apparently I can't vein mine slabs. Probably could have had an actual axe. edible oh they do things too I have effects I have strength and fire resistance so I basically just got free potions I can dig it uh, let's free up some space so I have more space to fit tools in um, the decorations are nice but useless up all the sides no okay we'll call this one uh where do we want to put it above the bed sure jericho's house mark two nice get some crops oop that hurt If that's going to be the case, build a fence gate. Actually, we'll just take... We'll just take the fence down. Or at least take this part of it down. You seem a bit stuck, but did you also live in this house and now you're, like, terrified because I killed your friend? Good. So maybe I didn't do the full food mod in this one because it definitely was more like tomatoes and onions and stuff like that and less rice and coffee beans and stuff. Although it might just be what's growing right now. Um, I don't know what you do with flack. Oh, it makes string. Okay, it's not a bad idea. Plant flack. We will plant a row of rice. I don't think I can. Oh, I can plant it there. Okay. I think rice you can make liquor with and paper. Uh, we'll grow coffee. I don't know what you do with canola, but I'm assuming something. We'll do the next line of rice. Oh. 
I think you plant the rice too, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, we'll do more canola and coffee here. There we go. Hey, you still see my beacon in the distance. My beacon. Uh, let me grab the other ladders for that. Well, yeah, or the stairs. I'll grab the stairs. platform going up. Potatoes, yes. This will be beets. And more wheat. Such when I have any carrots. But that's fine. Um this is kind of in the way. I think I'll probably Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Oh, I know what it is. The all-in-one tool doesn't do the vein mining thing. Okay, so uh, I figured out what it was. It wasn't a matter of the Paxel, which I forgot what it's called. Uh, it uh, wasn't programmed to knock down process planks. So we'll just deal with it. It's fine. Looks like it only really knocks out uh, logs and whatnot in one go. So like this one, yeah, that works. Doesn't do fences either, I don't think. Oh no, it does fences, so just not planks. I'm guessing because that'd be kind of bad, considering, uh, especially, I think this, mm, the vein mine's built more, like I said, for Skyblock or Sky Factory. And if your entire base is built out of wood and you accidentally vein mine, you might just destroy your entire base, so. So let's see here. Oops. Like that, but more falling into the void and less uh, falling into water. I don't know what y'all are doing with the crops over there. I already did all of your guys' job. bumming around to make it look like you're doing something useful. Hey, get out of the way. Actually, be really useful to have a large source of water underneath where I plan on putting a lot of my uh, equipment because I'll have an infinite source to pump from for cooling and other such means. Ah. 
I, like how I said, uh, I don't spend much time making things aesthetically pleasing, and then I just did exactly that. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I do enjoy some of the art artsier forms of playing the game. But I feel like it kind of makes up for the fact that I skipped a lot of the necessary hard survival stuff by finding a village early on. Uh, so since we have housing and bed and everything kind of already accounted for, and food, see you out there, Lumen. Um, I guess we can start focusing on tools. I would like to get the Tinker's Furnace done sooner rather than later because it, uh, when you melt your ores, iron and such down, you get essentially two ingots for every block as opposed to just one if you were to put it in a furnace. So. I wonder how long it'll take before I'm forced to murder every one of these villagers for homing all the time. Over or under two hours. Ow, my legs. Uh, I'll grab food because all this vein mining is going to make me hungry. Also, might as well just craft another shovel. Uh, did I eat my cooked chicken already? I guess I did. Uh, oh, that was the other thing I was going to make, was some drying racks. So with that, we can place rotten meat on there, and it, oh no, it doesn't, I don't think it becomes leather, it becomes jerky. Really, more than one of you stuck there? Oh hey, a carrot. Convenient. You guys should probably go to your house. Your own house. Anyway, as I was saying, it makes a jerky. Um, you actually, it's a different tool that isn't in this mod pack to make it into leather. Well, unless there's a different... Let's see. Um, oh, okay, just uh, meat will do it. Noted. Uh, Dutch squeeze were a time of reconstructor, which actually that guy has in the fancy schmancy place. Um, burn it in a redstone furnace. Noted. I wonder if that applies to all furnaces or just redstone furnaces. We'll find out. sleep here soon. Nah, it makes monster tricky. So it must be a redstone furnace. Which actually, that's a waste because that's what that's doing. But we have monster jerky now. It does something with the rotten meat to whereas most of the other time it gives you nothing. Although eventually we'll have an XP squeezer. Oh, whoops. I don't have the progression mod on that shows you the how long stuff's going to take before it's 
finished cooking or turning or whatever. Oh, creeper song. You are getting too close to my home. Basie. All right, that's a good patch of sand. There's one. Start over here. Let's see now. Uh, I want to say it's four and then five. No? Oh, it's blocks. That's right. That was what I was missing earlier. It's full blocks of clay. I was wondering why things were kind of weird when I was doing the math earlier. So... No? Oh no, there's gravel involved. That's right. It's been a minute since I played, apparently. Okay. Uh, simple enough. I just have to find some gravel or dig. Is that gravel? Yes. Whoops, through my pickaxe, or my shovel. Suddenly a cave. Oh, apparently that was a lot of gravel. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we gathered a little bit of gravel and sand. We at least get started, because we have to make a few furnaces to start actually cooking all of the grout. I'm sure we'll have to go back out to get more and build an actual furnace. Uh, let's see. Are we short on cobble? A little bit, yeah. But for now. Oh, coal, too. I didn't even think about that. Um. Damn you. Oh, I haven't even made it into grout yet. I was like, what a little spacey. Alright. Uh, now what was the recipe again? I think it was grout on the, or gravel on the corners, clay in the middle. There we go. Those started. <laughs> Looks like our jerky was done. Um, we need to go get coal and cobblestone, so. 
what I'll do is I'll just dig up some stone and knock down a few trees. Let's not throw my tools, please. I'll just dedicate another furnace to making a crap ton of charcoal. Just because I feel like mining is going to be its own endeavor, and I'll probably start that in the next episode. Because once I start mining, we'll be down there a while. at the rest of this Paxel. All right, now let's go down for cobble. What is this, lead? Copper. Oh, okay. Got lucky with a spot of iron, too. Neat. Uh, coal would be lovely. Okay, but I think we're good. See, that, all that, what I just did there, probably would have taken, like, 20 minutes. Oh, wrong way. Had I not had the vein mine on. I don't know, it's one of those things that once I started playing with it, I just can't ever not play with it anymore, because everything just seems to take so painfully slow. <laughs> what was that? Excuse me? You want to take that back? Talk about my mother that way. Go away. Now I know I said two hours before I snapped and killed all of them. I want to point out that not all of them are dead yet. Just the ones immediately around my house. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Batty Sir, where are you and why did you spawn? Oh, that's... Hmm. Yeah, hmm is right. I don't actually know how to deal with that. And the longer I'm out here, the worse it's gonna get. Hi, Mr. Creeper, sir. You want to just follow me this way? Maybe? Maybe? Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Oh, you guys are just the worst. Just the worst. <sighs> you know, I think, I think tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow will, well, now today, but in the next episode, we will recover from, from this, from the creeper attack. It could have been worse, of course, so I almost got chain exploded by two of them, but what episode one of Minecraft would it be if your house didn't get blown up by a creeper, right? <sighs> uh, okay. Well, see you next time, guys.